day 25. Um, so I did a test yesterday um, for some things. Um, and then, uh, but I don't get results. But the then got to go out and went out for dinner. And, um, but if we can go out to a nice restaurant. And there's good food options. It's not hard to, I, I find anyways. Like I wasn't, it's like, oh, I would want to, you know, whatever, alcoholic beverage. Do I really need it right now? Like, do I, do I want a dessert? Yeah. But there was like a lot of good options for vegetables and fish. So the meal was just like, oh my God, this is like, the, the, the meal was exceptional. So it was like, okay, this is not, hard to do to fit in to keeping kind of whatever a realm of eating well in traditionally I, I can when I'm out I'm actually better even it's in the household is generally the worst thing because that's always been my issue is like the hiding of things the hiding of eating like goes back to when I was a kid and eating disorders like hiding food and eating in private and that because that's like the time that you get to right binge right because that's that's like the drug addiction binge when you're alone um in my life though I've had the social anxiety when I've gone to parties or different things that was pretty same thing was pretty much cleared and then you know in recent in that last year as this kind of a lot of stuff has happened I found myself in that situation where you know limited but it, it did still come out um I'm I, I struggle right it's I've always realized, like the social, like when it comes down to it, the core, people can tell themselves they don't care what people think, but that's not true. Every single human cares what people think. Even the biggest villains in the world do. Why? Because that's, it's the other side of ego and losing love. Like it's like, I find myself feeling like a villain myself. I want everyone to dead. Like I, I fantasize about that because it goes to lack of love. When you've given love, given love, given love, there's a psyche in that. And then feel misunderstood, not feel blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then it makes me think, because on a mindset thing, if you grew up in an environment or, or weren't exposed to the things at all of like personal development or believing there was like a hope or believing there's something greater than yourself, like if people think they're the be all, like I'm a person who's always believed in whatever, something bigger than myself. So that carries me a different way, right? Growing up in a strict Catholic house um, and the teachings of that I've realized are, I, you know, how my, it, I don't said, I'm never gonna put anyone, my, my beliefs on anyone, but I have my own and it, there's too much hypocrisy. And I remember feeling that at a young age and what the hell, and then when you're being sexually abused and then you're being physically abused and then you're, you know, you're witnessing nothing but abuse. Like it doesn't make sense. I, I really say that you know, as much as I'm in my, I, I, so the, the lessons that you take, like, so my dad is a hardcore business guy. That's what he is. He's cold. He's, there's no love, right? Like, that's how I grew up. There was never love. There's only, I mean, so uh, Polish immigrant, um, extreme, strict Catholic, but he didn't fall, like, he does, uh, the, uh, I've learned, like, in watching my, I feared my father, my, my, like my whole life I didn't live with him much I only lived with him when I her three years about that and I made sure that I was away from him as much as I could be in those three years I, I even married my first husband because he hated him that was the reason I married my first husband and then I got very I had I didn't love him right these are the things you go back and you go oh my god the honesty in these things that why people do what they like I it, because my hate and my anger toward my father has carried me so much because of, I, the, the core of no love no attention also then not being a man and saving me from what was happening to me like the anger I feel toward that that's like that's the thing living in this household I mean in two days um until my they're gonna be back here for you know a month or over a month and a bit that they're here in my space every day and the anxiety of that alone because i don't know what to, like my freedom has been at least been you know they're not here in the evening because it's a business uh, uh location but because they have to give up a different house and that's not that's a, with the other family coming they're going to be in this space and me not having my, it makes me sick 
and because my finances and that, that all the wrongdoing from my other husband it's made me crazy like it, it and that's what makes per, like so my psyche right i have to understand like goes to be honest to constant wanting to kill him i feared my father my whole life okay in real life i i was going to kill my stepfather so that's why it's, I, I fantasize about these things. It consumes me. It makes me sick. But I'm a person who would never, like, you don't, I wouldn't do it. But you say that, you say that if you were pushed to a person, like, so as a kid, right? I'm, I'm not, I'm a good kid. I'm, I'm, I, I did everything right. Like, I was one of those kids, like, follow the school rules, follow the authority, da, 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 da. Why do people do sneaky things or whatever? Depending, it's everything comes down to intention. I had to look back and go, okay, I understand where that came from and why. Like to protect myself as a, as a kid, right? Like to try to, but you're trying to like get attention. Hey, something's wrong. Um, and I say that because you like when I like I had no memory before February of 2020. Looking back at pictures, it's not like we're wearing you know, certain clothes, certain outfits, certain things, like, I'm looking for attention, I'm looking for, I thought, looking for trouble, I'm looking, like, I used to get in random cars in Toronto when I was, like, 13, it, like, hoping, like, it's like you, you have a death wish, you do, you do, because you want somebody to notice you, my father never noticed me, the anger I, that I realized of that, and the lack of protection, and then what, when something's actually happening to you, but you feel and you're told and you're made to believe you're the sick one. And that's what the whole system's done to me. And I'm not the only one. That's the, and my business as I, you know, was creating it and doing different things, the art form of, of wanting to help the world as much as possible, even these videos, right? If I make it or I don't make it, you know, maybe one day then people would find the videos and at least understand mental health or why people kill themselves. I've been suicidal every day. I've been having been kidding about that, but I'm such an exceptional, like exceptional at showing up at different and being great for other people around. And that's why I broke. I'm too good at it. I'm too good at caring about other people. I fit into society too well. And that's exactly why I don't fit into society and exactly why I hate people.